52 grams of protein. Two, 15, seven, seven. The salad. Oh, where's my receipt? Hopefully it's in there. What's up everybody, Skylar Dean here, founder of Reach Fat Loss and Fitness, where our goal is to help you step into the happiest and healthiest version of you, to burn fat and lose weight, to build muscle and to increase your health, and most importantly, to do it sustainably. So without any counting calories, without any crazy cardio, without any strict dieting, but just putting an emphasis on real whole foods, strategically adding some fasting and making sure that you are moving your body. Now, today we're going to go through my most recent Costco haul. We're going to talk about a lot of their healthy options, a lot of their tasty options, a lot of their clean options. But before we dive into it, I want you to go down in the description of this video and grab your free copy of our Common Kitchen Upgrades Guide. One of our philosophies is about the quality of the food that you put in your body. And rather than cutting out foods or vilifying foods, you take a look at the components of those foods, aka the ingredients and you make smarter choices from there. So this guide is going to give you 15 different simple swaps that you can make in your kitchen. That's not only going to help you be healthier, it's going to help you reduce bloating, increase your energy, but it's also going to help you on your weight loss journey. With that being said, let's get into it. All right. So I just recently went to Costco, grabbed a bunch of my staples. Today, we're going to go through what I just picked up. And then at the end, I'll run through some stuff that I didn't have to buy because I already had in my kitchen. But if you are looking to clean up the foods that you are using in your kitchen, if you are looking to get food items that taste good, but also have really clean ingredients and are healthy for you, this is what you are going to want to watch. So we're just going to go through it one by one. Uh, we're going to start off initially here with the salad, the salad, the Salad. The organic renaissance blend. Uh, I'm a big salad fan. If you guys did not know, even if I'm having a dinner, I recently started making just small salads on the side, but a lot of my main meals include a big salad. And the reason I love this is because... Oh, where's my receipt? Hopefully it's in there. And the reason that I love this is because it's a lot of lettuce for a light price and you are getting organic lettuce. So you are avoiding glyphosate and other pesticides that can be damaging to your health. Yes, I do. So this is only $5. I make big, big salads, and this is probably gonna last me six to eight different meals. So if you're a salad eater and you can finish this amount in the time before it expires, I highly recommend grabbing this. Next, you know we had to get the avocados. Healthy fat, absolutely incredible for you in bulk. This is a great, great choice. You're looking at six very large avocados in here for $6, which is pretty legit. Most other places for avocados this size, you're gonna be looking at minimum $1.50, but typically like two or even two fifty. dollars Along with that, we also have the lemons. Um, I've been making an awesome dressing. Shout out Amy Pattison. That is olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and lemons. So this big bag of lemons is gonna last me quite a while. I throw them in the fridge. They don't go too bad too quickly. And they're an awesome staple sitting at eight bucks for this entire bag. Next, let's get into some of the frozen stuff. So I am a massive fan of eating frozen foods in terms of convenience and also in terms of quality of the product. Frozen foods, they don't go bad. They're quick to make. And when they're frozen, they actually retain more of the nutrients than if you were to get them fresh a couple weeks after they were imported into the US. So there are a lot of different variations at Costco. What I suggest is always read your ingredients. So make sure you're not getting stuff that has a lot of added sugar, that has any processed oils. Usually it's the best to just go with veggies and adding in some sort of spices. This is one of the few at Costco that are seasoned and that do use oils, but it is clean. Uh, this is a fire roasted veggies mix. So in this, you're getting roasted bell pepper, roasted zucchini, roasted poblano pepper, roasted yellow squash, asparagus, roasted red onion, and then you're getting olive oil, sea salt, and black pepper. So no seed oils, no other processed ingredients. I do wish that these were organic because you probably are getting some pesticides here, but overall, this is a great option and they taste great. Next frozen item is the staple. This is my number one choice. If I could go to Costco and just get one thing, it would be these. These are 100% grass-fed beef patties. These are here for your own good. You're looking at less than $23 for a sleeve of these. There's 15 in here and you're looking at 26 grams of protein per patty. So I typically eat two. Sometimes if I'm feeling wild, I'll have three. But if you're doing two, you're getting 52 grams of protein. And 
and that's less than $4 per two patties. So it's an awesome price. It's 100% grass fed, so cows have their natural diet, which is gonna give this a better nutrient profile for you. Honestly, these taste absolutely delicious. So this is my number one staple from Costco and something I highly recommend getting. Other frozen goods here, we've got some organic broccoli florets. Uh, this is literally just organic broccoli. It's great, it's cheap. You're looking at 850 here and this is four different bags. I have about two servings per bag, so it's $8. So it's just a little over a dollar per meal, which is great. And then the other hidden gem that's frozen at Costco are their cherries. These are so, so good. Organic cherries are dangerous. Um, it's literally just organic dark sweet cherries, so you're not getting anything else. They taste so, so good. I not only use these in smoothies blended up, but even just throwing them in a Tupperware and putting them in a fridge and waiting like five, six hours, they taste really, really good. They're a great snack. It's a fruit. Cherries are super nutrient dense, and I highly suggest getting these. Next, we've got some Greek yogurt. So this isn't the most ideal Greek yogurt. Um, it's going to be non-fat and it's not grass-fed. Ideally, when you're getting Greek yogurt, you're getting grass-fed and you're getting full fat. Uh, studies have shown that people who have the full fat yogurts and the full fat dairy, they lose more weight compared to the people who have the low fat or the no fat. So it sounds kind of reverse because you're getting more calories, but the way your body responds and processes dairy when it's in its natural form is going to be better for you. This one's also pasteurized, of course, but they do add in active cultures for digestion, which is great. So again, it's not grass fed. It is organic. It's non-fat. It's a good option, especially if you're going to have Greek yogurt. Next, we've got some frozen meals. So we're going to start here with Kevin's Natural Foods Korean Barbecue Style Chicken. Um, Kevin's is a really solid brand. I've seen a few where they wouldn't be my first choice, typically because it's higher carbs, some more processed ingredients, but I haven't seen any that use any of the more inflammatory seed oils like canola oil, soybean, or sunflower. Typically, these will have a little bit of sugar added, but it's really not a lot, and they are paleo, which is a huge advantage. So for ingredients here, we're looking at chicken. The chicken is sous vide, so you got some other ingredients in there just to uh, spice up the chicken. Not a huge fan of the yeast extract. That can be a version of MSG, which you typically want to avoid because it stimulates your appetite. But as far as the barbecue sauce goes, you got water, coconut aminos, which is super clean, vinegar, some coconut sugar, roasted sesame oil, which isn't the best oil, but it's a tiny amount and I'm not too worried about it. We got lemongrass puree, tapioca starch, more yeast extract, cilantro, dehydrated onions, spices, dehydrated garlic, shiitake mushrooms, anthem gum, dehydrated ginger, and some monk fruit. So the reason I love this is you got about 6.5 servings per container. I'm probably only getting like two-ish servings out of this, maybe three, but you're looking at 20 grams of protein per serving, only seven grams of carbs and three and a half grams of fat, and only one gram of added sugar from serving as well. So the sugar is a little bit higher, you're getting five grams, but overall, this is a really solid option. This is not something I would suggest having every single day or all the time, but if you're in a pinch, you want something convenient, you wanna make something that tastes really good in a short amount of time, this is something I'd recommend from time to time. And then following that, we've got some sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. I'm also a big fan of this one. It's a little pricey, so this one was 22 and a half, but it's a high quality steak, so it's grass fed. The cows have their natural diet. As far as ingredients go, you get the beef, you get seasoning, which is just a bunch of real spices. You get dehydrated garlic, sea salt, olive oil. You do have some sugar in here, but if you're looking at the serving size, which is about three ounces, you're only getting one gram of added sugar. So overall, that's not a large amount, and if you're looking for a high quality grass fed beef, that can be ready pretty quick. This is a great option as well. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Next, we're gonna go with the Teton Waters Ranch, the 100% grass-fed beef Polish sausages. I'm a big fan of these, and these are actually on sale as well. So you're getting $4.50 off, so they're coming out to a little bit over $11. You're getting 12 sausages in here, so it's less than a dollar a sausage, which is great. And then we got real ingredients here. So we got grass-fed beef, again, cows, natural diet. That's exactly what we're looking for. We got water, and then you got just a small blend of sea salt, vinegar, paprika, cultured celery powder, garlic powder, and cherry powder. So clean. If you are a hot dog fan, you're looking for a healthy hot dog alternative or just any other way to use some grass-fed beef sausages, I highly recommend this product. Next, we got some sardines. Um, I used to eat these a lot. I don't really eat them anymore. However, I did have someone recommend including this with my cat food. Um, I'm gonna show you what I use for the cat food in a second as well, but I also have an entire reel on my Instagram dedicated to the recipe I use to feed my cats. I'm not a fan of the processed food and the processed ingredients in cat food, especially dry food. And so I typically make their own food that has nutrients, clean ingredients, and it's healthy for them. So if you do have a cat and you want that recipe, head over to my Instagram at skyfit 
and shoot me a message and I'll DM you the recipe. But I've been throwing these in my cat food. Uh, we got sardines that are just in olive oil and salt, which is great. They get the healthy omega-3s from the sardines and the olive oil, and it's a great way to help them get more protein as well. And then the next thing that has to do with the cat food is the chicken breast. Um, so Costco just has the bulk chicken. I don't really eat chicken. I don't buy chicken for myself typically, unless it's a super, super high quality chicken, but I give this to them and Costco has it in bulk, which is great. All right, we got three more things here. So number one, one of my favorite things to cook with and include in my diet, grass-fed butter. This is something that I highly suggest you get from Costco. They have Kerrygold there, but Kerrygold's actually gonna be like three or $4 more per package. And when you're looking for butter, again, grass-fed, you want a cow that's been fed its natural diet. Kerrygold does feed their cows grass, but it's typically around like 50 to 60%, whereas this is a 95% grass-fed cow. So this is what we're looking for. It's the cheapest option there. It's a high quality butter, and I pretty much cook with this every day. Next, we've got hemp hearts. Hemp hearts are a complete protein. They're a great addition if you use salads, you have smoothies, you do yogurt bowls, um, any way you just wanna get in more nutrients and protein. This is not really adding any taste to what you use, but they are super nutrient dense and they're great for you. This is a little bit more pricey. You're looking at about $14 per bag, but this bag is probably gonna last me a couple weeks. So it's something I include with my salads. Occasionally I'll put it in a smoothie or a protein bowl with Greek yogurt. Um, but if you are wanting to just get a little bit more protein in your diet, more complete nutrients, I highly suggest these. And then last but not least, and honestly, probably my favorite from this haul, we've got That's It Organic Dark Chocolate Fig Truffles. This is a treat and I will warn you, they are dangerous. So do not keep these in your house if you know you can't moderate. This bag's gonna last me a while. I'm very good at just taking my time going through it, only having one or two at a time. It's clean, which is the cool part. You have organic figs, so the figs in the middle, and then it's surrounded by some chocolate, which is organic dark chocolate, which is gonna have unsweetened chocolate or that's organic, organic sugar, organic cocoa butter. I think the cool part is how little sugar they use in this. So the truffles are gonna be about this big. And for three of them, you're only getting one gram of added sugar. So you do have the 11 grams total, but that's obviously from the fig. So from the added cane sugar, the organic sugar, it's only one gram for three truffles, which is awesome. So this is a nice treat. This is a nice dinner cap. Again, I don't snack on these a ton. I have control around them. So if you don't, I would definitely watch out for these. Um, but if you can control yourself around them, then this is a great option as well. And then let's get my other things. Costco. So that is my haul. I'm gonna quickly run you through some of the stuff that I didn't buy today, but I keep in a consistent rotation in my kitchen. That is also from Costco. So number one, their olive oil. Highly, highly suggest this one. This is gonna be the highest quality olive oil that you find at the best price. It is just from Italy. It is 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil. It's cold extracted, so you get a lot of the nutrients in there still. This is a super high quality olive oil. We've got our apple cider vinegar. So mix these two together and add in some lemon and you have an incredibly tasty salad dressing. But this is with the mother. It's organic. It's fantastic for gut health for the ability of the stomach to have the proper level of acidity, and it's just a great health tonic as well. Next, we got Pellegrino. They come in whole boxes. I'm a big, big Pellegrino fan. I keep these in my fridge pretty much consistently. I'm only having like four or five a week at this rate, but they're a nice treat, and they're a good way to just switch up the water. Next, we got my favorite chips of all time. These are consistently in rotation. Uh, they are Siete chips, so they're a tortilla chip option. If you are having Lay's or any of these organic tortilla chips, they are pretty much always going to have very inflammatory oil, sunflower oil, soybean, canola oil. This is seed oil free. It uses real ingredients and I gotta be honest, they're addicting. They taste so good. I've hooked so many of my clients on them. For ingredients, all we got is a cassava blend of cassava flour, cassava starch. We got avocado oil, coconut flour, and chia seed and sea salt. So it tastes great. Highly suggest having these. Then we've got a classic avocado mayo. This is from Chosen Foods. And the reason I love these is because most avocado mayos that you're gonna find in the store use canola oil or soybean oil or sunflower oil. And then they'll put in a little bit of avocado oil just so they can put that on the label. So this has no seed oils. You've got avocado oil, filtered water, egg yolks, whole eggs, distilled white vinegar, mustard, including a bunch of ingredients in the mustard, salt, rosemary extract, and all of those ingredients are organic besides the avocado oil and egg yolks. But as far as mayo goes, this is a really, really good upgrade, really good alternative if you are a mayo fan and I highly suggest this. Next, we got their salsa clean as salsa. They don't add sugar. It's all organic. Bunch of spices. Highly recommend, especially having them with the Siete chips. Maple syrup. Big, big fan of the nutrient quality of maple syrup. So it's definitely a sugar. So you can definitely overdo it. I'm a fan of having these on my pancakes. And sometimes I'll put them in like a smoothie or a coffee just to sweeten it up. And then last but not least, we've got organic feta. This is a product of Greece. It's made with 100% sheep's milk and it is real ingredients. We got pasteurized organic sheep's milk, salt, rennet, lactic culture. 
and that is it. And I throw these in my salads as well. So big fan of this, big fan of all of this, massive fan of Costco. Definitely would love if you left me a comment below if there's any products I missed that you really love or there's a product I didn't mention that you're curious about the ingredient quality and I can leave you a comment back. As a reminder, number one, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are looking for more. I do these hauls from time to time, but I'm putting out content every single week on getting you in the best shape of your life. And of course, make sure to go in the description below and grab your common kitchen upgrades guide. Get your health right. That's what this is here for. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.